Hey, brothers and sisters. So this next audio in the Bible, Galatians chapter 5. Right, we should not be living in the flesh. If we call ourselves followers of Christ, we ought to live in the spirit daily throughout the day. Because if you live in sin, you're trusting in your flesh and not in the spirit, which God is. Right. So in Galatians chapter 5, it talks about if we are, are, if we are reborn, which those who are reborn are, live in the spirit. Right. So those who are born are of the spirit. Right. The flesh is born of the flesh and the spirit of the spirit, right? So you must be reborn to enter into the kingdom of heaven. So um, Galatians chapter five talks about this and I'm going to play this audio for you. Okay, you need to live, trust, worship, and praise God in spirit and truth. Okay, not continuing in willful sin. A lot of people want to debate this. A lot of people want to say, oh, we're one saved, oh, we're saved. A lot of people want, a lot of people want to say that, um, uh, love thy neighbor as thyself. First of all, if you're living godly, you're loving your neighbor as you would love the, yourself living godly, right? So understand that as well. Okay, so um, love your neighbor as yourself. If you're not living godly, then you know where I'm going with this. If you're living godly, you're going to help them to live godly because you yourself are living godly. So see how Satan twists scripture Okay, to to um to just for you guys to understand that as well, um, but um, I just wanted to point that out as well. Okay, a lot of people say, oh, you know, you're supposed to love everybody. You know, there's a love of truth, which you know, a lot of this modern day world has twisted the meaning of unconditional love, um, and not knowing the truth of the biblical meaning of the um the the true meaning of love. You know, preaching the truth preaching righteousness okay sin is unrighteous okay so please turn from your sins trust in jesus today trust in and, and i'm gonna put a um a, a prayer uh, i'm gonna put a repentance a sinner's prayer and if you have not said that a sinner's prayer you know i really recommend that you say that prayer okay i'm gonna post it in the description box for you okay um repent for the kingdom of god is at hand Please stay tuned for this video of, of Galatians chapter 5. Um, I'm not going to play the whole thing, but it's um, from chapter 6, or excuse me, uh, chapter 5, verses 16 through uh, 25. Okay, so please live in the Spirit. Trust in God on His timing and not yours, because His timing is always perfect. It is going to increase your faith. Okay, trust in Christ today. Turn from your sins. Forsake your sins. Does not mean to continue in them. So please turn from your sins today. Time is out. This is there's no there's no time. There's really no time. And a lot of people have a rude awakening when they will be left behind to um, endure the great tribulation. Um, yeah. God bless you guys. Please stay tuned for the next video. This I say then: Walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. But if ye be led of the Spirit, ye are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. And they that are Christ's have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. They also, brothers and sisters in Christ, it also says, right, in uh, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 11, Dearly beloved, I beseech you, as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts, which war against the soul. Okay. When, when, remember when in Galatians chapter 5 it says that the flesh lusts against the spirit? 
It wages war against your flesh wages war against the spirit, and the spirit wages war against the or the flesh. Okay, it also says in first or excuse me, uh John chapter four, verse twenty-four, God is a spirit. So they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Okay, God is spirit. Okay, trust in your spirit, not in your flesh, because your flesh it's going to sin. It's going to want to sin. And you can't do it on your own. You can't do it on your own. Okay. Also understand that it never once does it say follow your flesh. Right. It doesn't say um, um, trust in your flesh. It says trust in your spirit. Trust in your spirit. Don't trust in your flesh. It is possible to sin no more. It is possible. Okay. Um, willfully. There, it is possible not to sin anymore. Okay, just to clarify that up. Willful, it is possible not to do it. The devil is a liar. Stop, tr stop trusting in your flesh and trust in your spirit.